Now, ECOWAS has sent a pre-election observer mission to Cote d'Ivoire to gauge the mood and preparations ahead of the October 31st general elections. The delegation was led by the president of the ECOWAS Council of Ministers who held talks with political parties and other stakeholders and encouraged them to maintain calm during the polls. Since the incumbent Alassane Water declared his intention to run for a controversial third term, there have been wild demonstrations in different parts of the country. More details in this report. The ECOWAS mission came to an end on Monday after a meeting with outgoing President Alassane Ouattara and the three main opposition leaders. Led by the President of the ECOWAS Council of Ministers, Charlie Ayokor Bochwe, and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ghana, the mission aims to contribute to the normal continuation of the electoral process in Cote d'Ivoire. We engaged political parties, the opposition, we engaged the independent candidate. We also engaged um, a group of ambassadors. Still to find out whether they have any concerns and also to caution everybody about violence and the need to make sure that this election is held in a very peaceful atmosphere. Since the opposition's call for civil disobedience, demonstrations have been staged in several towns in the interior of the country and in the capital, Abidjan. It is really unfortunate that it is always others who come to the rescue of Côte d'Ivoire, and this is a problem that has been going on for 27 years now. ECOWAS will not do things for us because it is up to us, the people of Côte d'Ivoire, it is up to us, political leaders, to show the right path for our country. We need to dialogue, sit down and talk to each other. But why do we find it difficult to understand this? Despite the ECOWAS mission meeting with the opposition, the demonstrators continue to implement the active boycott launched by the main opposition leaders. Faced with this situation, the ECOWAS mission has launched an appeal to the demonstrators. To supporters of political parties, please do not allow yourselves to be used to do any acts that are violent, such as blocking roads, such as seizing electoral materials, such as attacking people, because it is not worth it. A joint mission of ECOWAS, the African Union and the United Nations visited Abidjan early October to promote a peaceful, transparent and credible election. The wish of most people in Côte d'Ivoire is that the Ivorian political class will find common ground before the election scheduled for October 31, 2020. That story of ECOWAS, a delegation to Africa's will